Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That is me, the babbler. That is me on this evolutionary high of an uprise at this time. And so tuning in to spirit, of course, guys, I am being advised to channel from my divine. And also to just briefly, like, just state what a download is for those that might not um, understand it for their understand, for their overstand. And think of it like when you think of a download, like when we download something to a computer. So in essence, it is something like that. It's like a tapping in to, so I've been experiencing, I'm always experiencing massive downloads, but these last couple of days have been really intense hits of a certain specific kind of um, download that I am receiving, retrieving, conceiving, perceiving. It's all of these things plus more at the same time and so what a download is like is it's just like a massive influx flow of information for your ultimate evolutionary growth that is um showcasing itself to you on whatever level of evolution you are on and however it is that you learn um to process or however it is that you receive we're all receivers it's just tuning into the mastery of how it is that we receive, like the hearing, the download, the like that's where you get the clear up. Um, clear, I can never say these words, and I'm very tired because I'm just very tired. Um, clear, um, clear, 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 see, I can't say these words. Um, yeah, I get tongue tied, but you know what I'm talking about. All oh, the clears, <laughs> clear, consonant, <laughs> like S whatever like right now like i just can't like i just can't do it my brain is like not on that human level of um compute but um yeah so you know finer tuning how it is that you receive like what is your antenna like so you know it can come in the shapes forms of epiphany after epiphany it can come in intense forms of just um different timelines in your now lives or past lives or energy lives that exist that are being gifted the connecting of the dots it's like playing connect the dots you see and so it's like oh, bing 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 this picture abstract from me is formulating you see ah aha epiphany oh 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 that kind of thing you know and it could be massive because depending on, again on the kind of leveling of um downloads you're receiving you know especially if you're an open receiver of course a lot of the epiphany is going to be for yourself and for your world that's going to interconnect for the whole the greater whole of all you know when you start viewing it from that um light because everything is light you know out of the darkness emerges light gifting sight so whatever spectrum of light you see out of that you vibe out of you your frequencies and 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 these um vibrations um are all a part of your own divine package so we each serve our own purpose and stuff like that it's not about what's right and what's wrong although we can on these lands state what's right and what's wrong or what's moral and what's sound and what's not and you know all these things but at the end of the day it's really what's right and wrong for ourselves or our current level of um evolution that we um are on and what purpose we serve you know so um i'm pulling one again i liked kind of like if you read the coyote's message um, from the, I mean, if you read, if you hear the coyote's message from the other day for just whoever is tuning in, this too is going to um, be the same kind of thing. It's kind of like our mental state, current state of condition, view, or seeing that spirit animal is going to offer us the insight that um, is being highlighted at this time. For each of us is going to be different. Take what resonates, let go what doesn't. Also, make sure to tune in to my blog, enchantingbabble.blogspot.com. 
um i'm excited for all the new subscribers and especially for the new subscribers who did contact me in regards to the one three oracle question if you do it right if all you have to do is follow the instructions on my blog at the very top like before the disclaimer um also read the disclaimer too but um and also read the disclaimer on here too because it both applies it's the same disclaimer on all channels um but um if you check out enchantingbible.blogspot.com and read in the bio like area um there you can see how it is that you too can receive your very own free oracle read um just follow the instructions down to the t because the last time i put these offers up everyone sent so many messages and no like people weren't even subscribing and i was just getting a whole download of like just emails of people demanding and commanding or wanting stuff and you know a lot got lost in translation there um, just that overwhelming sensation that just in flux of like not listening to the whole point is you know the support that we receive here is like even balancing here so subscribe to my channels and you will receive your very own oracle divine um, message at this time and um, so there have been people that have been listening and so to you there's going to be a group of you that will receive um, whether they followed me on my Enchantress the Babbler channel or um they so followed my blog so they show screenshots of either or just both both will be nice um but you know it's always usually one or the other or wherever there it is that they find you on so it's beautiful beautiful so i'm just so thankful as you already know i'm grateful for all the love and support and encouragement that i am receiving on like this multi-dimensional um space of a place that um is really cool so, um, thank you for that. Also, follow me on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S. -S. If you're interested in any spiritual services, you can email me at East Meets West Spiritual Services at gmail.com. Also, um, also, Instago is up and running. It's still being constantly updated. Do just note that I um, work more than one job although it's not the traditional nine to five job i do make my own schedule so i do a lot of things virtually i do a lot of things free bono free too um <laughs> and i also travel to see a lot of my clients and stuff like that too so um i'm 24 8 constantly working so you know the other stuff that i do or that i build especially on social media platforms everything takes time so, you know, at my most convenient of times, in between time, I'm working on those things too. So, patience with me. So, not everything is up on Instant Go for all the things that we offer. But if there's anything that's missing that maybe you are um, interested in, um, do send an email to East Meets West Spiritual Services at gmail.com. And there I can tend to show you whatever may not be showing as an offer or you know something like that so and be mindful that new york city and new jersey i do occupy and the state of california um venus sublime adrian does occupy so um we're all over so you know travel is a wonderful thing to do so without further ado it's 8 23 marking the stamp of when the spirit oracle message here that we are channeling here from our ancestors so dear archangels guides multi-dimensional creatures <laughs> beings sentient folks elementals anything that you taught angels whatever it is god god is mother father the polarities of everything that we are everything that we are i am everything and yet nothing at the same time um channeling you from the center of our core divine what messages are here for us to tune in at this time? Um, Spirit Oracle message speaks. Also, I've been tapping into Ant Wisdom too. Um, middle of the deck, we got Crow and Hawk. Let Spirit be your guide. Co-create with Spirit. That's in Spirit. That's a message. Nice here. Look at them here. Just beautiful cards. I like I said, beautiful. So nine twenty-three. What's happening? What do we need to hear, see, resonate with mind, body, heart, and soul? Let's get into this alchemical fix that is love centered on peaceful bliss that sometimes is triggered through the dark, shadowy lights that are just further pushing us, urging us to gift us more sight, 
in our no and be strong in our stance, the roots that we plant, not these conditioned lands that want to food, spoon feed us, the nonsense, the garbage that we're freaking vomiting up because that's no longer what's up. So we are feeding ourselves the forbidden fruit. So one might hear, so what messages do we have for our collective stream that's here? Tuning into this timeless message of right now. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Whale spirit, trust a great mystery. <laughs> like, that's mid deck. Like, you see me, I'm just shoveling. It's beautiful. And I tell you that I'm on maybe like three hours of sleep. I'm on like three hours of sleep. I'm on a sleepy high that um, is still hot. High, most high, most loving, and most aligned. My allergies to kicking my ass. But here we go. What message here to the shuffles? Okay, beautiful. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in between. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Yes, baby. One more shuffle. Moth spirit, surrender now. So even just tapping into this kind of thing here, um, if you tune into any of my old, older videos and stuff like that, I speak about like the, the old school crew that has been awakened for a long time here on these lands that are like the, the front runners. Right, and then we have the hybrids. I speak about them like that. And hybrids, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 3. 3 oversoul. 3 oversoul. Yesterday was 6 oversoul. Oh no, that wasn't a conversation I had with another divine spirit. So, mock spirit. Look at how beautiful. Just how beautiful that card is in itself. And just think about what also happens. The moth, similar to the butterfly. The transformation that happens. The beauty that um, escapes from this creature when it is set free. Look at all the eyes. I even see ladybugs in these pictures. <laughs> you know, surrender now. Moth Spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or addiction? Or maybe the resistance. <laughs> Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Think about it. You know, there's so many on this, like, twin flame soulmate journey and stuff like that, that they get it all misconstrued, twisted and tied in knots, that their main focus becomes on the opposite um, divine um, energy more so than they do themselves. And then I don't like to put labels and be like, oh, it's the divine feminine that um, tends to travel within, go in for their win more in regards because they put the in, this catalyst to everything and stuff like that. But um, just think about it, like even from one of the other messages that I said the other day about the tapping into our divine masculine and feminine within ourselves, you know, and there's always going to be a catalyst to something that um, wants to emerge furthermore in ourselves, that'll be the catalyst be from the outside. And it's usually another person that we, that strikes or ignites our flames that has us, you know, a little dizzy or spell, spellbound because we want to get into their wave. And usually their resistance, you know, because due to some kind of intensity that you might be experiencing with some kind of, you know, connection that you make on these lands that do not ever go how, you know, the romance novels let you know. Um, that love can blossom and grow, like, but where do you think those stories and fables come from? You see from a life and experience and imagination that, um, each of us tap into collectively. So what storyline are you tapping into that's taking you away from the focus of your own reign, game, today? Like, surrender now to what you, what's not logical about any of this, because none of it is. Like, you know what I mean? So, hard work and dedication are virtues. And love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, 
When moth spirit appears, it is time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certainty or even to a person may be your current vice. I get a lot of workaholism, a lot of perfectionism, a lot of addiction to the certainty of the me needing to know. Even me letting that go and letting spirit flow in me. Understand that that's part of a surrender too, that I cut myself open to bleed. Even when I don't like it, you see, because I just want to know. And then I, I always say, as clearly as I can see for others, you see, we become blind, dumb, and stupid with ourselves. Especially when we are asked to trust in the process. But we just want to know. And so we watch so many of these YouTube videos, or we ask our friends for advice, or we keep on reading different articles, different books, or, or drumming up different scenarios and, and driving our minds mad about all these scenarios, and then thinking about whatever leveling that we are on that feeds the inquiry. So if we still have things that are not healed through within ourselves, then that unhealed part of ourselves is creating even more of that cycle in that psycho um, action of psychotic behavior. <laughs> um, the form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all the other pursuits that matter to you. How often do we know that we got things that we need to do? How unfocused do we become? And then sometimes people too, when they are met with that passion-fueled, ignite, ignition that triggers within them to meet that part of them that's part of this resistance that's meant to um, bring you to your most highest potential self inner travel that labyrinth that that um, takes us to that core center for our own betterment for our own inner standing of this understanding for our overstanding how often do we become so distracted that we're doing other things that take away that drain, we become, they become succubi like in every kind of way because some people try to ignore it and so they go to work, they do other stuff, they run. Um, it's so funny, even before um, pulling this card, the song that came to mind, and I haven't heard the song in a long time, is an old song. It's run away, run away, run away and save your life. I could be making up the words, but this is how I was saying. Run away, run away, run away if you want to survive. You got to break free. Oh, oh, oh. run away. Oh, 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 you better break free. Yeah, so I just think that that song <laughs> channels in a little bit right now here too, because sometimes we get into that flight or fight mode. To that defense mechanism too whenever we're triggered um we go into that defense mode and pull back pull out and then run away oh you better break free from what from your conditioning um the fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all other pursuits that matter to you now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or to fight <laughs> Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. Moth spirit can be intense and honesty about your own compulsive tendencies is needed right now. A little self-reflection. Meeting that, that, that mask of denial that exists within you, that, that mask that you put up even to yourself too. I, I used to call, when I used to hit certain levels of um, masks that would be identified in me, like my I don't care mask, 
I remember when I called my I don't care mask out. Like, why do I even say that? I don't care. I care. Why do, why do we say I'm fine? That fine mask. I'm fine. Really? I'm always this way. Really? You know? It is too easy to switch from one addiction to another, distracting yourself from the discomfort of uncertainty and the thoughts and emotions that arise when you aren't single-mindedly pursuing a goal. Most spirit calls you to put for you calls to you to pro, to practice moderation in all things and recognize when 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 you think you are headed toward the light but are really heading into a fire that will cause burnout. Why are you so resistant to letting up? Could you be avoiding difficult emotions you need to feel and release? Now is the time to do a fearless inventory so that your addictive tendencies can be toned down and rechanneled into enthusiastic activity in moderation. You are not a machine. Listen to Moth Spirit's message that a change is needed to support your well-being. Maybe, deep down, you know you have become too attached to something and someone. Maybe it's an old paradigm way of being. The way that you were raised to, 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 to do things, operate on. Or maybe you, like me, come from a trauma-fueled background that... Um, fear, gripe, it grips you at your core because that's all you've ever known is trauma, hurt, pain. And so the conditioning of those kind of ways to let it go, to trust, that's a difficult thing to do. That is addictive in every kind of way. <laughs> you are not a machine. Listen to Mark's spirit message that a change is needed to support your well-being. Maybe deep down you know you have become too attached to something and someone. Let go of your need to control the outcome and allow yourself to remember the many ways you want to channel your energy to relationships, to work, to your partnerships, to giving to others, to self-care, and to all other pursuits you value. What do you value? What is a value? What do you want a value that is more for you at this time? Let's be honest with ourselves at this time so that that way you can awaken to the supreme energy rain that wants to float through you. Just be the truth. Tapping in. Thank you for tuning in. Enchantress the Babbler, my friends.